Hello, it's Feather, and today I'm doing the mid-year book freakout tag. This tag is basically to help you look back at the year and see how you've been doing with your reading goals and your reading achievements so far the first half of the year. So my Goodreads goal for this year was to read 50 books, and I've read 26 so far, so I'm doing good in that sense. I'm trying to get ahead this summer because I know when school starts up again I won't be able to read a lot, so I'm just trying to read as much as I can for the next couple months until September. I have some questions here. So to start off with this tag, the first question is, best book you've read so far in 2017? I would say the best book that I've read so far this year was The Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill. It's a four-part novel chronicling the life of a fictional character named Aminata, and it starts with her childhood growing up in Africa and her capture by the slave trade, and then it's just a huge story spanning her entire life and eventually her return to Africa and her support for the abolitionist movement that is forming in London. I gave it five stars. I recommend anyone to read it. There are a lot of trigger warnings for um, abuse, suicide, rape. It's in general a very horrific story, but it's also very historically accurate. Still extremely important and the writing is gorgeous and beautiful and I can't recommend it enough. The second question is the best sequel that you've read so far in 2018. 17. For that, I'm going to say A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. It's probably one of the only sequels that I've read this year, but it was it was very good. I liked A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I didn't think it was a five-star read. Um, there were a couple little things that bothered me about it, but the second one was amazing. I was so enthralled with the world. I was so enthralled with the characters. I thought they were so well-developed. The story and just the magic and everything. It was, I, it was good. I liked it, and I convinced Rose and Olive to pick up the series as well, and they all loved it. The next question is a new release that you want to read this year but haven't yet. There's so many new releases that I want to read this year. I don't think I've read any yet, to be honest. I want to read A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third book in the Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy. There are going to be more books in the series, but they're not part of the main trilogy. They're going to be from other characters' perspectives, um, is what I've heard, so that'll be really interesting. But there's so many other new releases I want to read too. Um, One Dimple Matt Ricci, I've heard so much about that one. Um, they Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, that's another one that I've been hearing lots of things about. Um, I just want to read all the books, so every time I hear about a new release I really want to read it, but I don't have a lot of money to pre-order the books, so I wait for them to come in the library and that takes months for new releases to come in when I put them on hold at the library, so I always read new releases a little bit late. Excited. Oh! Oh! Turtles All the Way Down by John Green! And I know I'm gonna get that one because my friend Riley bought it for me for a Christmas present, so I'm excited for that one. The next question is... Oh, whoops, already answered that. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Uh, yeah, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, that's my most anticipated release. The next question is, biggest disappointment? That would probably be Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I did not like that book. Liked the movie, but the book I gave, I thought it was just a three star book. It's probably my least favorite uh, Harry Potter book so far. Sorry if that's your favorite book in the series. My favorite book in the series is the third one, Prisoner of Azkaban. The next question is, what was the biggest surprise? The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter was a big surprise for me. First of all, the book was not about what I was expecting it to be about. The back kind of hypes it up as this romance where, um, the back of the book kind of hypes it up as this romance where the girl is destined to fall in love, but when she kisses her true love, her true love will die. And that's the summary on the back of the book. But that is really not what this book is about. I'm sure it'll play more into the Raven Cycle series as a whole, but in this first book I was expecting it to be all focused on that. But there's like at least seven different plot lines that are going on in this first book and they're all amazing and super intricate and there's this adventure and there's so many plot twists and intrigue and it's just a huge surprise. Gave it five stars. It was not at all what I was expecting, but I loved it. 
next question is favorite author debut or new to you so this author is new to me i read her book in january and that was simon vs. homo sapiens agenda by becky albertalli book her becky albertalli wow her name is hard to say becky albertalli is one of my new favorite authors she is just such a wonderful person first of all her book was so cute i loved it and it's being made into a movie i cannot wait i am so excited but she's just the sweetest person i follow her on twitter and her interactions with her fans and the book community in general is just she's such a good role model and she's just such a good human being if she makes a mistake she'll own up and apologize right away she's very good at clarifying when problematic things are happening she's friends with angie thomas who wrote the hate you give and i can't tell you what happened on twitter because it'll spoil but it was so cute i just she is a sweet gem as a person as an author and her writing is great and she has a new book that came out this year as well the upside of unrequited i think it came out and maybe I, i've seen people review it they may just have arcs but i think it actually has come out the next question newest fictional crush um probably frank from since you've been gone he's just such a gentleman yeah he's just sweet i like his taste in music um yeah the next question is newest favorite character i would probably say blue from the raven boys she i feel like we would be good friends if i hung out with her actually all the characters in that book um, were really unique and interesting and I feel like I'd really enjoy being a part of their friend group but Blue especially she has this eccentric style I also really like Noah I mean Ronan and Gamzee are fine too but I just really like Noah as a character next question a book that made you cry um, I actually don't cry a lot reading books movies and tv shows and that's a different story I actually don't know. I think I cried when I read The Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill. I haven't finished The Hate You Give yet, but I did cry reading chapter 2. And if you've read it, you know what chapter 2 is. It's very sad. But this year? Um, I can't think of anything else this year that I've read that was super sad. But the next question is, book that made you happy? And that is absolutely Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. That's just the sweetest book. I was so happy afterwards. I was literally squealing the last few chapters and I feel like if I ever need a quick pick-me-up, I would like to flip through that book again. It's just, it's good. Next question, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? Probably The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I didn't like that book very much and it was one of our book club books and it was actually my choice. It's kind of embarrassing that I didn't like it since it was my own choice. I think I was really drawn to it because of the cover which is one of my biggest mistakes. I never choose a book by its cover ever ever ever. I find that the prettiest books are always just awful. Um, not always awful but a lot of the times they're awful. We read The Nest for our, our book club last year and it was a gorgeous cover but I could not stand the book and I find that a lot of times the really pretty covers are not my writing style and the books that don't have the most appealing covers have the best storylines and then the last question what books do you need to read by the end of the year I mean there's no books that I need to read but I can't read at some other point in my life that was my mid-year book freakout tag hope you enjoyed I've been reading a lot this month and I'm really excited to share what I've been reading in my wrap-up hope you've been having a good July and having a good reading month as well. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.